Good evening to all and welcome to the session, the Hindu editorial analysis for proficiency in English. Today's editorial is all about cricket test series between England and India. A familiar topic, easy to understand, but surprisingly, though it's a familiar topic, there are 20 plus words. Keeping the time factor in mind, I brought 16 words, but in my opinion, 20 plus words. We'll start the session with editorial vocabulary. What is the first word? The first word is very important, indomitable, part of speech adjective. Impossible to subdue or make something weak or defeat. Generally, I give the combination indomitable spirit. What does it mean? While preparing for competitive exams, while trying for something, you need to have indomitable spirit. Means while, while preparing for competitive exams, you may see ups and downs, but still you have to have the same spirit until you achieve success. Indomitable spirit, an important word. It goes with uh, invincible, very good, I do. You can also think of the word invincible, but the word invincible goes more with the uh, same meaning, kings. In the past, they would use invincible king. No one could defeat. But indomitable goes more with motivation, spirit, attitude. Indomitable, an important word. And while preparing for competitive exams, you should all you all should have indomitable spirit. Brag goes with uh, everyday English. Today, we have a few words that go with everyday English and uh, brag. I did not tell vocabulary. No, I did. Perhaps uh, you joined a little late. Brag, to speak too proudly about what you have done or what you own. You own something, you always speak about that and you speak proudly. That is nothing but bragging. But there's another word you have to think of, boast. Brag, boast, one and the same synonyms. And there's one important idiom. Blow one's own trumpet. I did yesterday also. Who is this? Perhaps you joined a little late. Boast is different. Boost is different. Who is that? Yes. Boast. Uh, blow one's own trumpet, an important idiom. Imagine some parents they always talk about the kids. And they talk proudly all the time. Some people about possessions. Someone has a car, always talks about the car. Then we say he brags about his car. They brag about their children. He blows his own trumpet. Riveting, an important word, part of speech adjective. And grossing, fascinating. Fascinate means attract. Something is fascinating, attractive. And here engross means deeply involved. And usually the word engross, deeply involved in something that goes with uh, reading. Or it also goes with work. You're busy reading and you become, no, that is a different meaning altogether. Why that word here, Pandu? Narcissism means Admiring one's beauty, that's a different word altogether. Here, talking proudly about what you have, but narcissist, narcissism. Some people spend a lot of time in front of a mirror. They admire their looks. That is known as narcissism. But important word, I appreciate that, Pandu. All of you have a look at the comment box. Narcissism means admiring one's own looks and based on that, spending a lot of time in front of a mirror. Here, reading and work engrossed in reading. Then what happens? You become oblivious. What is the meaning of the word oblivious? You will forget the surroundings. Today, we see a lot of people while using the mobile, they become oblivious of the surroundings. They forget the surroundings. That's an important word, engrossing, fascinating, attractive. Tale goes with everyday English, part of speech noun, a fictitious or true narrative or story. 
it could be fictitious means what fiction imagination or true narrative or story tale fable story myth all go with uh, more or less the same meanings with subtle differences sneak i don't know why the writer has used in this context but actually it's a negative word and it goes with everyday english today 20 plus words a few words go with everyday english for example bragging everyday english previous slide and also tale everyday english now we have sneak move or go in a furtive or stealthy way stealthy means a secretive secret it goes more with a movement it goes more with cats if you take cats they move very slowly and stealthily in a secret manner and here sneak out there is a phrasal verb it goes with colleges universities sneak out of takes a preposition of what classroom imagine the class is very boring when the faculty turns the other side towards the board some students may leave the room that is known as uh, sneaking out but in this context it's a bit strange the writer has used that particular word next one hustle hustle is an important word in the sense there's one idiom first we'll see the meaning of hustle part of speech verb it can also be a noun to proceed or work rapidly or energetically more than energetically rapidly quickly fast fast paced and here what is the idiom that you have to know hustle and puzzle of a city when you go to a city a city is known for two things any city has two features one the pace is very fast lifestyle people are always on the move on the toes always doing something moving quickly second one noisy noisy and uh, quick paced we use the idiom hustle and bustle it goes with a city obviously here hustle fast pace frenetic part of speech adjective fast and energetic here we focus on the word energetic in a rather wild and uncontrolled way sometimes you are excited you try to do something and there is no restriction no uh, not controlled excited energetic then we say frenetic more on energy and hustle more on speed and here you can also think of frenzy frenzily that also means the same maverick goes with a person a noun an unorthodox or independent minded person orthodox what does it mean please respond we have got many a time orthodox means traditional and what is the meaning of unorthodox not traditional creative innovative here you have to think of traditional traditional culture when it comes to culture you have to know two words which are very important one is occidental culture means a western culture and the other one oriental culture oriental i'm sorry oriental culture means eastern culture these words are important do remember they have given in a few exams occidental and oriental or traditional orthodox means traditional oriental culture is basically spiritual orthodox uh, occidental culture is materialistic these words are important words and here imagine there is a particular field especially sports some players they play differently new shots new techniques then we use a word he is a maverick that goes with batting it also goes with uh, bowling ominous we have got many a time part of speech adjective uh, having a menacing or threatening aspect it's a negative word it has a negative connotation ominous means very bad you can think of very bad you can also think inauspicious season has got two different meanings 
part of speech adjective. One meaning it goes with the dishes, seasoning the dish. But here, having a lot of experience of doing something and therefore knowing how to do it well. Imagine there's an actor. The actor has played a lot of roles, a variety of roles. Then we say seasoned actor. It also goes with there's a politician. He has contested in many elections. He has won many elections and he has been an important figure in a particular party. Then we say a seasoned politician. Combinations are very important. Helm can be a verb, can be a noun. Based on the editorial, I bring the part of speech, a verb. Be in charge, to be in charge of and direct or manage. I have, we have got this many a time. Helm means to be at the top. When it comes to a particular party, someone controls. When it comes to a particular government, someone controls. Then we say he is at the helm. You have to know the prepositional phrase at the helm. And in this context, uh, there is a team. The captain controls the team. The captain, we say, at the helm, be in charge. Lexicon, an important word they have given in many competitive exams many a time. It has different meanings, but I use Quite often, I say, when it comes to close test, you have to be good at lexical terms. Lexical terms means related words related to a particular topic. And lexicon, one meaning dictionary. Lexicon means what? Dictionary. And lexicographer, they have given many a time. A person who publishes a dictionary, a lexicographer. But here, different meaning altogether. Lexicon, the vocabulary of a person, in this context, not a person, language, not a language, branch of knowledge. It means branch of knowledge. Imagine knowledge related to cricket, someone has, then we say cricket lexicon. He is good at cricket lexicon, means what? He knows all about cricket, a different meaning. Spree, we have got a few times, and this also goes with everyday English. And the spree means unrestrained indulgence in or outburst of an activity. More than outburst of an activity here, we say unrestrained indulge indulgence means to get involved in some activity without any control or do something continuously. Usually I give the example of shopping. Imagine someone is getting married. They have to shop. They have to buy the dresses. They have to buy the accessories. They have to buy jewelry. They cannot do in one day. So they allot one week or 10 days or one month. Every day they buy a particular item. Then we say that person is on shopping spree. It takes a preposition on. On shopping spree. An important combination you have to remember. Exhilarating. An important word. Part of speech adjective. Causing strong feelings of happy, excitement, and elation. Someone is extremely happy, excited and happy, we say, exhilarating feeling. Linger, we have got many a time, part of speech verb. Stay in a place longer than necessary because of a reluctance to leave. Usually I say it goes with uh, thoughts. It goes with situations. What is this uh, ex-wife? Here, a uh, linger verb, thoughts. Imagine you have some thoughts. One or two days, it's okay. But after some time, it is not required. But still you think of the same thing or you have the same thoughts. Then we say lingering thoughts. This is one combination. A linger. Abrasive goes with material related to rusting. But here, part of speech adjective, a different meaning altogether, showing little concern for the feelings of others. But here, harsh, abrasive means what harsh? In this context, it goes with uh, cricket because we are talking about cricket. It goes with the pitches. It also goes with, uh, you can say, weather. Harsh weather, harsh pitches means not uh, conducive for the batters and the bowlers. 
these are the words but when you read you get more words let us start with the question what is this editorial about this editorial is about india's test cricket victory against england it's a five test series so far they have played four now it is a three one in favor of india india has won three england has won only one particularly focusing on the recently concluded fourth test in ranchi so far they have played four and the last one ranchi recently concluded and india won that also and it talks about the last match and also generally about the series based on this editorial before you start reading when you see the heading you should ask a question what skills are required to understand this editorial the first one contextual understanding or contextual awareness you all i am sure those who are watching this video almost all have this because in our country cricket is a very popular sport people love to watch cricket matches they know a lot about cricket here contextual awareness is not an issue at all but this editorial i would say it is more based on vocabulary 20 plus words you need to have vocabulary skills you may think oh cricket about cricket an easy topic what is a big deal but it is not like that sometimes what happens unfamiliar topic only a few words and sometimes familiar topic a lot of words you have to learn a lot of words and this belongs to the latter not the former familiar topic a lot of words knowledge of cricket generally this is all about the test series one thing with focus on the fourth test but if you don't have any background knowledge of cricket a bit difficult to follow sequential understanding because the test series four tests tests have been played so far who won the first one second one third one fourth one the sequence that awareness also understanding also helps guess the awareness of tone what could be the tone of this editorial because india has won the test series obviously the tone has to be positive appreciative and because we got the series not one batch it is like celebratory now we'll go to the tone of the editorial the tone of the editorial appears to be positive because we have won the test series celebratory time to celebrate the test is india has won the test series not the fourth test alone test series and appreciative appreciating the youngsters young players those who have just entered test cricket three positive words now we'll go to the editorial and see how it starts home run on the indian test to win this talks about fourth test but home run here you have to know one expression home turf i also use give one more expression familiar turf known field familiar turf home turf within the country home run within the country the test series is taking place in india based on that home run on the indian test to win but what is the main idea of this editorial england's buzz ball a new uh, term based on the name of a player challenged india at home but it was clearly the better team here the better team it was clearly the better team it represents india india has been challenged england's buzz ball challenged india at home at home means the matches are going on within the country at home but it was clearly the better team india was a better team india in tests especially in its backyard who is its triple sundari yes sporting events we have to use the definite article the but uh, individual sport no article the olympics the the us open the wimbledon but cricket tennis no article india in tests especially in its backyard an important word today if you take a house if you go to a village a traditional house 
what is a traditional house tile house a traditional house in a village can have imagine this is the area and the house is here it has space in front space behind the space in front is known as front yard and the space behind is known as backyard traditional house front yard they may keep cattle or plants grow plants backyard usually cattle hens and the poultry and also sometimes there are trees all these here backyard means in india i appreciate those who have written all those related words based on team team is a collective noun important from the exam point of view you have to recollect committee jury team staff all these words are very important india in test especially in its backyard remains an indomitable force i said usually the word indomitable goes with uh, spirit motivation and here force and indomitable force cannot be subdued cannot be defeated it was england's turn to become aware of this to know this what is this india is an indomitable force in its backyard it was england's turn to become aware of this reality as rohit sharma's men claimed the fourth test at ranchi with a five wicket victory and a day to spare usually test matches five days and uh, two innings first innings second innings and usually they run out of time that means uh, usually a test match is a draw but here surprisingly india won the test and also five wicket five wicket victory besides all that a day to spare that means in four days they could finish it off strange the win helped what is the impact of the win in the fourth test the win helped the host here host is india guest is england seize here seize means uh, grab the series at 3-1 with just the final test at dharmashala left to commence on march 7th five test series four already played only one is remaining that is going to be played at dharmashala the fifth test and it is going to commence commence means what begin on march 7th next month irrespective of the verdict in that last tussle what is the last tussle the test the fifth test at dharmashala irrespective of the verdict i use this expression quite often irrespective of your background you can master english all that you have to do positive thought a proper plan and the time say about 9 months to 12 months more than enough your journey can be from single digit to double digit here irrespective of the verdict in that last tussle tussle we have got literal meaning fight a literal meaning is fight with your arms and body but generally we say tussle i had a tussle with my friend means a fight last fight the fifth test rohit's men will own the silverware and the bragging rights that we got the series for this series which has been a riveting tale of ups and downs with india sneaking in the last word this is what i could not make out it is looks like out of context i cross checked still i feel out of context but we'll see what exactly does it mean it means irrespective of the verdict whatever the final test is going to happen whatever is going to happen in the final test india may win england may win but it does not make any impact whatsoever it does not make any uh, it doesn't change the result already the result is out what is it india has won the test series and uh, based on that rohit's men will own the silver wear they will get the trophy and bragging rights they can say they can brag we have won the test series against england bragging rights for this series which has been the series has been present perfect a riveting tale a riveting adjective tale noun means fascinating and the tale means a story attractive of ups and downs any test series any match 
ups and downs are very common with india sneaking in the last word sneak means to escape secretly to move secretly but in the last word a bit strange it has been used over here it was never meant to be easy against a strong england unit the entire series was not meant to be an easy one it was not something like a cake walk what is the reason strong england unit it was never meant to be easy against a strong england unit with its buzzball style of approach what is this buzzball style of approach a method that hustled games changed the pace of games along session by session through calculated aggression ready to attack attacking mode frenetic run rates exciting run rates and maverick unorthodox field settings all these factors talk about the the way they try to play the matches and the way the strategies they used for when it comes to the four tests as if to sound an ominous warning ominous means what warning noun ominous adjective very bad inauspicious as if an important expression to sound an ominous warning ben stokes and his troops grabbed they got the first test at hyderabad by 28 runs first test was won by england by how many runs 28 runs even the most seasoned english analysts experienced english analyst including former captain michael atherton predicted england superiority and the reasons were obvious now what happened here today i'm not asking you guys to tell what it is about each sentence the reason being it's a familiar term the focus is only on the vocabulary ha ah, very good who is that divya says tussle clash skirmish scuffle very good i appreciate that captivate fascinate yes very good here even the most seasoned english analyst generally what happens england team a strong team and they won the first test by 28 runs and obviously people tend to think based on that first test england is going to sweep the test series and india is going to lose even the seasoned analyst thought the same even the most seasoned english analyst including former captain michael atherton predicted england superiority and the reasons were obvious what were the reasons one thing they won the first test besides that some other reasons to predict england's victory getting the grabbing the test series <laughs> who is this okay they be a good appreciate rohit did not have the services of virat kohli one drawback away on paternity leave pater root word means what father m a t e r careful with spelling mother based on that we have words like paternity maternity paternal leave maternal leave patriarchal matriarchal all these words you have to think of and an injured mohammed shami and he helmed he means rohit helmed at the top the captain a largely inexperienced batting order experienced batting order a different thing inexperienced batting order yet an important contrasting word in spite of that india found new heroes ranging from yashashvi jaiswal to dhruv jurel <clears throat> most of pressures all these are pressures most of pressures prospered means what did well even while rajat patedar struggled one or two must have struggled but most pressures prospered they did well some seniors too rose to the occasion an important expression we use in everyday english at the workplace especially workplace we say rise to the occasion so what does it mean now try to guess the meaning a ah, father further very good i appreciate a rise to the occasion means based on the situation do something or do what is expected 
imagine the situation demands india has to win the match and the uh, situation demands 20 runs and there is a bowler at the fag end or uh, tail end he has to score 20 runs it's an uphill task but the situation demands and he could score 20 runs then we say the tail ender could rise to the occasion or the tail ender rose to the occasion an important idiom you have to remember last week we got the word spearhead it can be a noun it can be an adjective it can be a verb spearhead to take in a particular direction spearhead to lead a particular protest we got in that context Spearhead, Jasprit Bumra bowled spells. Spell has many meanings. Here, a few times spells that threaten stumps and even new pacers, including Akash Deep, lent a sharp hand. He could also make an impact. Arise like a phoenix. Good, who is that? Naidu Paidi. Hmm. Since within the cricketing lexicon, here, since, you all know I don't have to repeat, Within the cricketing lexicon, means within the le cricketing field, it talks about the field, knowledge related to a particular field. Within the cricketing lexicon, India is supposed to be a land of spin and slow turn. India is supposed to be a land of what? Spin and slow turn. Usually what happens when cricket is played in different countries, based on the pitches, Ah, very good, Naidu Paidi. Common error, spell out in detail. Not correct, because spell out means to say something in detail. You cannot say spell out in detail. That is redundancy. Only spell out. India, every country, some countries are fast, good for fast bowlers. Some countries, the pitches of some countries are good for spinners. India is known as, supposed to be a land of spin and slow turn. There was no discounting R. Ashwin on a record-breaking spree. Obviously, when the pitchers are spin-oriented and slow they take slow turns, spinners will have a great time. There was no discounting R. Ashwin on a record-breaking spree, continuously breaking the records, Kuldeep Yadav and Ravindra Jadeja. For all the muscular dynamics, here muscular dynamics means the power, might of might means a power. Might has many meanings. I'm sure you all know. One, a helping verb, possibility, less chances. Might, it means a power, mighty king, powerful king. For all the muscular dynamics that England's batters often revealed, reveal means what? Disclose, diverge, make public. India was always up to the challenge. Means India always rose to the occasion, up to the challenge. And it was an exhilarating experience exciting happy and overwhelming experience we say exhilarating experience skipper rohit and coach rahul dravid leaned on the new batters lean imagine there's a wall here and one person leaning against the wall it takes uh, against lean against it also takes a lean on subtle difference if someone is standing here, this is a wall. What is a guy doing? He is leaning against the wall. We use against. But to lean on means what? Rely on, depend on, bank on, cash on. Ah, wonderful. Already some students have mentioned all those combinations, phrasal verbs. Skipper Rohit and coach Rahul Dravid leaned on the new batters. Even if the temptation to recall Chateshwar Pujara, Pujara is known for test cricket, ma test matches. There was some sort of temptation to call Pujara, but they did not do that. They depended on the new batters, and the new batters have rose to the occasion. They did not let down uh, Rohit and coach Rahul Dravid. Even if the temptation to recall Chateshwar Pujara must have lingered, an important expression, must have lingered. It is used to make a deduction about the past they must have thought they must have lingered in their minds means linger means stay for a longer time Safraj Khan Jaiswal with 
Jaiswal with 650 per run so far in this series. I think he has equaled Virat Kohli's record. And Shubman Gill had their moments, means they had shined. And the captain too struck a ton. Rohit also a century in the third test at Rajkot. Meanwhile, England often threatening to run away with the game. A new expression. A run away with the game means to win the series, win the match. I realized that under the warm Indian sun and on abrasive pitches, patience was an essential virtue. For English people, England players, something is not easy. Because England, a temperate country, India is a tropical country. They cannot withstand or bear or tolerate the warm Indian sun and also abrasive pitches, harsh pitches. And what is required when you're exposed to negative qualities uh, or a situation, atmosphere that is not conducive, you need patience. Patience becomes a virtue, an important word. Uh, offline classes also, I tell students, virtue means good quality or good habit. Vice has many meanings. Vice president, that meaning is different. Here, vice means bad quality or bad behavior, anything. Whenever we talk about a person, we talk about his virtues and vices. Means what? Good habits and bad habits, good qualities and uh, bad qualities. An important word. Veteran James Anderson and an inexperienced spin attack kept testing the host's willow wielders. Veteran James Anderson, senior player, and an inexperienced spin attack kept testing the host, India's willow wielders. Willow cricket is known as willow game. Tell me why is it called willow game? There's a tree, willow tree. They make the bats from the stem of the log of the willow tree. That's the reason why it is known as. But men like Jurel, sharp behind the stumps and equally calm in front of it, ensured that India's unbeaten run in home test series continued unhindered well past a decade. Indian team does well when it comes to back home. And this also proved the same thing ensured that India's unbeaten run, so far not defeated, in home test series, when the test series played in the country, and continued unhindered, unblocked, well past a decade, more than a decade, they have been winning test matches back home. That's all about the editorial. Let us go to questions based on to test your comprehension skill. What was the series score after the fourth test at Ranchi. All the questions are easy. You should be able to answer with a broad smile. 3-1 in favor of India. But your favor, British and A-B-O-R. American. Like color, color. Exam point of view, you have to consider British spelling, not American spelling. Always remember. Question number two. Which player scored the most runs in the series according to the editorial? Again, an easy question. I appreciate your response. Lakshman says that 2B. First one to respond. Yes. Yashashvi Jaiswal, 665 some runs. He has equaled Virat Kohli's record, I suppose, or about to break the record. Ah, 655, yes, Lakshman. Who is mentioned as a spearhead of India's bowling attack in the editorial? Spearhead, bowling attack, which player has been mentioned as a spearhead of India's bowling attack? Easy. Jaspreet Bumrah. What is emphasized as an essential virtue for success on abrasive pitches 
under the warm Indian sun, based on the keywords, you can easily answer. Abrasive pictures under the warm Indian sun. What is required? Editorial emphatically says patience. Only one thing is required, patience. According to the editorial, what is England's playing style referred to as? The editorial has used a particular term to refer to England's style. What is that? Cricket Jambori, Maori Cricket, Calm Cricket, Buzzball Cricket. Easy to answer. Let us go to the words you got yesterday. And consolidation always very important while preparing for competitive exams. You learn a lot. You have to consolidate what matters, what you remember, how fast you can recollect. That's what matters in the exam. So try to write the part of speech and the key word and see how many you are able to answer. Collaborate, verb form, collaboration, noun. What does it mean? Today, the questions are easy. Context is a familiar one. But focus is more on words, vocabulary. Sometimes it happens. To work jointly or to work together, but one student mentioned this morning, intellectual endeavor. Intellectual endeavor, very good. Intellectual means related to knowledge. Endeavor, a project, a venture. You can also say work together, work jointly. Nothing wrong with that. Novel can be a noun, can be a verb, a adjective, based on the editorial adjective. New, strange, unprecedented, but Chandu, the better, it's a positive word, better to think new, innovative, and creative. Those are better words. Intuitive, part of speech adjective. What is a noun form? Intuition. To guess or to know prior without evidence. Yes, Tripura Sundari. To predict the future without any evidence, your gut feeling. For that, we also say sixth sense. What is it called? Sixth sense. You don't have evidence, but you predict something may happen. Wane, part of speech, verb, waning and waning. They go with moon. What does it mean? Begin or please mention. Wane, have you answered? To become a weak or to go down. You can also think of the word a decrease, dwindle, shrink. Ah, good, now you do. Uh, waiting for the word Lakshman also dwindle, dwindle, shrink, go down, deteriorate, all these words. Formative stage, formative status means what? Part of speech, obviously, adjective. Initial stage, developing stage. Not simply weak, becoming weak. Please mention the question number, word number. Wayne not, does not mean weak or timid. That's a different thing. Wayne means slowly becoming weak, slowly deteriorating, slowly disappearing. That is entirely different. Timid person, weak person, a different meaning altogether. Glitch, part of speech, noun. When we say technical glitch, that means it's a noun. Means what? A temporary problem. Exactly. Technical problem. Distinction has two different meanings. One goes with the academic world. He has passed with distinction. He has passed in distinction. And distinction based on the editorial being different. Distinct features. Different features. Contrast between similar things. Exactly. That's good. Subtle difference. That's also good. Descent. Part of speech, noun. What is the opposite word? Ascent. 
going up is ascent, coming down is descent. Usually they go with mountaineering, rock climbing, falling downward. Yes, you can. Cobble, part of speech verb. But we use this word as a noun. What is a noun form? Cobbler. Slowly becoming a rare species. Nowadays, uh, in, in cities at least, you don't come across cobblers. I don't know about towns and villages. Mend or repair or fix. All the three words. Wonderful. But in a coarse manner, roughly. Tip over, generally we use trip over. Tip over, not trip over is a better expression. It is a phrasal verb. What is it? Phrasal verb. To fall over, you hit a stone and fall. I tripped over a stone. Devolution, you have to think, part of speech noun. First, you have to think of the word evolution. It has two different meanings. Evolution, progressive. Devolution, retrogressive. Going downward, going backward. But devolution also means delegation. Delegate your work. Give the critical responsibilities to someone. Delegation. Flag as a noun, everyone knows. But flag as a verb means what? To mark something as important or to be reviewed later to be considered later something is important or controversial or worth spending at a later stage spending time at a later stage we use flag that's all for today and uh, intentionally i'm not bringing because as uh, sbi mains over New series I'm going to start soon, mini mocks, and uh, most probably, I'm not sure, but most probably Monday. Monday I may start mini mocks. One goes with uh, banks, the other goes with SSC. Both I'm going to have separate uh, mocks, mini mocks. Thank you very much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Do remember to subscribe and share.